that's how you create the colax injection inside of Python. The first thing we did was we created a new method here called colax. This method has a single parameter and that is the number that we'll be using throughout the colax conjecture. The next line of this method is called index. This is a simple integer value. It will be used to keep track of how many times the number is being modified. Then we check to see if the number is not equal to one. For as long as the number isn't equal to one, we will then run it through the actual Colax conjecture. So if the number is even, then it will get divided by two, and then index and the number value will be printed out on screen. If the number is odd, then it'll be times by three and then plus by one, and then index and the number value will be both printed out on the screen for the user to see. Outside of the method, we have a simple input asking the user to take in a number here, and then we call the Colax method using the number that the user has just given, and you can see it in action here. So we enter in any value we want, so 99999. And then you can see it will run through and stop when we get to the value of one. And this works pretty much, well, for every number, not pretty much any number. So even numbers as long as you like. And eventually this number will reduce down to the value of one. And that's how you program Colax inside of Python.